Well, what can you say about that? Uh, we're on a spectacular roll of being just the biggest fail of any team that I've seen in a long time. I mean, the Nets, well, we won't talk about that. Knew it was bad when you, you don't show up to play against the Rangers. You, they always show up to play against the Rangers. It's just really, really bad. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Everybody's saying it. And I'm going to be another one of those guys that says it. It's time to fire the coach. Normally, there's a, a system that they, that teams run. You trap, aggressive four check. It looks like they're playing pond hockey. It, it looks like McLean's telling them, okay, guys, work hard and just shoot from wherever you can. And, you know, remember to, to you know, check back defensively every now and then just in case somebody's scoring on us. It's not working. When they have Kovalchuk lugged up the ice, he's coming up all by himself. And what's the defenders gonna do? Intercept whatever pass that could be happening, because there's no, there's nobody that he could pass it to, because he's all by himself. Or let's just check him off the puck. Let's just trap him, and go the other way. And that's what happens every time. They would look better with a flying V coming up the ice than whatever they got now. It's like a, some sort of angular Kovalchuk up here. And then oh, there's somebody, you know, they're, you know, or it's. It's still the angular thing, but, you know, they're kind of going up and let's try to pass it up there. If there's somebody there, then, oh, good. And he'll usually be like, oh, there's somebody, oh, there's somebody up the ice. I get it there before I get knocked off the puck again. And then who's ever up the ice is usually sandwiched by two defenders. The players have said, oh, it's not the coach's fault. McLean gets us ready to play, and it's on us. We don't put forth the effort. If he's getting them ready to play, he's getting them ready to play the wrong type of hockey. Best player on the team is, is Tedenby. That uh, says it all. Other guys, Arnott's had his spurts. Aliash had his his moment. Hedberg come, playing all right. You can't blame the injuries. If you remember last year when we had a ton of injuries, and we played our best hockey in November. Honestly, I will do a dance if McLean is fired tomorrow. He was good with the kids in the minors last year, let him stay with the kids. When we first signed McLean, I was optimistic, but in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, okay, you know, he did good in the minors, that's nice. When he was the assistant coach with the Devils, we had the one of the worst power plays in the league. And now he's the head coach, and we have one of the worst everything in the league. You gotta blame the coach, and you gotta blame the GM, because he put the players together. He knew that we were Three million over the cap coming into the season. Everybody's wondering, am I going to be traded? And okay, well, Salvador's on, on the IR. Okay, good. That just prolongs the agony. And now we have a bunch of dead players that are not doing much. Ralston is untradeable. We're not going to... No. Right now, I would stoop so low to even want Hitchcock as our coach. Yes, Hitchcock. He's hard-nosed. He actually has a system that has worked in the NHL. Columbus wasn't that bad. They made the playoffs with a crummy team. So maybe we need that. What I think is going to happen is McLean's going to go and Robinson's going to, you know, step behind the bench. And okay, I love Larry Robinson, but I don't he's not the answer. Nope. Last year we were contending for the division as the year before that, as the year before that, and for the last 20 years we've been contending and there's really not that much that's different. So we started with the whole Kovalchuk saga. Well, the team seems pretty happy. Parise was very happy that we got Kovi, and things were looking up. Bring in Volchenkov and Talinder and Arnott. Lose Salvador, we don't have Paul Martin. We did not have Paul Martin for two thirds of the season last year. You have Kovi for the whole training camp to get chemistry. What's different? The coach, the coaching staff. Robinson, Oates, McLean. High potential, high hopes, high optimism, nothing. The onus falls on the coach. He gets them ready to play. He teaches them how to play. And when they look ready to play, they play not, just not good hockey. Simple, fundamental things. You don't, you just, it boggles my mind. Last thing I want to talk about, I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but the officiating is just atrocious this year. And now I'm going to go on a rant. If I'm skating down the ice, if I'm, if I'm skating down the ice, 
and somebody touches my jersey, but I keep skating down the ice, I don't lose possession, I don't miss a stride, I don't even twinge that I'm going off balance. Why is there a penalty on that play? He touches his jersey, and it's a hold, or it's a hook, or it's a grab or something. The stick just happens to graze his chest, but it does not interfere, and we have to call penalty on that. Calls that should not be penalties, and then you see so many calls that don't happen that should be penalties. Mike Richards two-handing Jamie Langenbrunner's face with 20 seconds left in the game, blood running all over his jersey, and play on. Just, no, oh, it's just 20 seconds. You know, they're down a goal. Play on. We don't, we don't need that call. Do the refs get fined? No. If the players break some big rule or do something stupid, they get fined. The refs should be held accountable. And I'm not even saying that they're all against the Devils. I see calls against the other teams that we play, and it's like, what, what do they see that we don't see from our better angle, from all our cameras that we have? It's a shame. Hockey has turned from a, a grinding physical uh, sport where the players police themselves on the ice. There's actually a point to having a tough guy on your team. Now it's just pretty much for fun. The refs call it call every stupid thing that they can call, and then they don't call things that should be called. It's just inconsistent. Let the players play the game. Let it go. It's a physical sport. It's turning into just this pansy sport that is decided by the refs, and it's really ridiculous, and it's, it's sad to watch. It's sad to watch. Let the players play. Bring back the physical side of hockey. Every now and then there'll be a good check. I think it's good what they did with the headshot rules. But um, they got to lighten up on the holds and the hooks and the... It's just stupid. The interference calls. Ratings are up. I don't think that's because of the officiating. Young guys that are, you know, some of the best players that we will ever see. Rivalries. And you have better marketing. You have the Winter Classic. And it has nothing to do with the trapezoid or the refs or, you know, more penalties or, you know, let, letting, them, letting them have more freedom on the ice to skate around and... It's, that's not what's making the rings go up. And that is the uh, end of my rant. I get a little bit passionate about these things. I think I paid a lot of money. We pay a lot of money. We invest our time. We invest our money. And when you see a crummy product like this, it just, you just can't help but get a little, a little frustrated. I would love to hear what you people have to say, if you have anything to say at all. To all those patient Devils fans out there, I applaud you. But, um... I don't know about you, but I'll be wearing my pajamas inside out tonight in hopes that McLean gets, gets the boot and we see some changes because this is just, just a mess. It's a mess. And I bid you all a very good night.